everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is the what's in my hospital bag i watch lots of videos myself and i'm really excited to share with you what i'm bringing um it's quite minimalistic i guess um, I got a list from the hospital here in Turkey, if you're new here. Um, I'm from the Netherlands, but I'm living here in Turkey, in Marmaris, Turkey. And um, yeah, I will be showing you everything that I'm bringing. I also want to mention that this is probably my last video for a while. And I just want to enjoy our son once he's here. And I'm not sure when I'm going to upload again. So if you like to stay updated, uh, go follow me over on Instagram at MyPrettyEverything. I will keep you guys updated um, on there. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the video. So I'm bringing two bags. I'm bringing this little suitcase for my husband and I. And then a weekend slash diaper bag um, for the baby. I thought it was probably easier to separate the things also for my husband um, that he know where everything is so yeah let's get started okay so in the suitcase I got these cotton pads and they wrote this on the list here in Turkey so I just um, got one pack of 60 cotton pads I guess this is for uh, the baby if the baby is sensitive for the wet wipes although I got a uh, natural wet wipes but um, yeah, I'm just going to bring it and let's see if I'm going to use it or not. Okay, so then in here I got all of my stuff. So first of all, I got my pajamas. I got a night t-shirt, which is just a very comfortable one uh, that can get dirty. And then I also got a set of pajamas and um, that are super soft. I know that I have to stay at least one night in the hospital. In Turkey, that's uh, normal that you stay one night. So yeah, I, I have a look if I want to wear these pajamas or this night t-shirt. And I know for the birth itself, they will give me something uh, in the hospital. So I don't need to think about that. Then I'm also bringing some flip-flops for in the shower. These are for my husband actually. They're a little bit big, but I'm going to bring these because they are brand new. And then I also got a dress in here for um, when I'm going home because it's still really hot if the weather changes I can maybe change the outfit but I guess a dress um, is very comfortable and I can put it down very easily if I want to breastfeed the baby so I'm just bringing a really comfortable uh, dress for when I'm going home then I'm also bringing my white noise machine um, I thought maybe it's nice to have some relaxing sounds in the background when I'm giving birth some waves or some nature sounds and for the baby as well so yeah let's see if I'm going to use it but um, better safe than sorry so I'm going to bring this as well then I got two pairs of socks and these were also on the list um, if I'm feeling cold I can put some cozy socks on and then I got another set of pajamas because I'm not sure if I'm only going to stay one night or more so um, yeah then I have enough options then in here I've got my maternity underwear so bra underwear and also some uh, breast pads is that how you call them so um, yeah, they are also easy to find. I can tell my husband they are in the pink pouch. And then in this bag, I'm going to put my uh, toiletries. And uh, not everything is inside yet because I'm still using my toothbrush and my makeup. But I guess I'm going to put maybe just my eyebrow pencil, um, some lip gloss for maybe after the birth, Vaseline, because people told me you can get very dry lips. Then I also got a hairbrush in here and some elastics because I think I want to put my hair up. So yes, not everything is inside yet, but um, I'm going to do that last minute. And then on the other side of the bag, I've got all of my husband's uh, stuff. So I also packed a, a pajama for him, a t-shirt and all of that. So yeah, that's all of my husband's uh, stuff. So he can also easily find it. This, that's everything that is in this little suitcase. And I will now show you everything that I packed for the baby. So this bag I got from my mom. It is super practical. You've got all little pockets everywhere. So the first one, I've got some wet wipes. This is from Sleepy Natural. Like I said, they are very 
uh, natural without any alcohol or perfume then in this other pouch here i've got uh, a small packet of diapers from john bebe um, my sister-in-law said this is a very nice brand so i'm going to try it out then here on the side i've got the pacifiers i've got the philips avent pacifiers and the defrax ones so i'm going to have a look which ones i'm going to use or maybe i'm not even using them so we'll have a look and then here in the back i've got a blanket but i also got this one right here so uh, again i'm not sure which one we are going to use so i hope that i can breastfeed but um obviously if i can't i need a bottle so i'm bringing the philips avent one then in here i got this little soft toy which i thought was very cute and then all of the clothing I packed in different uh, zipper bags. So I will get everything out because it's easier. So these Ziploc bags are from Amazon and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use them. Um, so this is a little set from Nainje, Miffy, um, a little sleep suit with hats. Then in this bag I've got all um, different sizes of muslins, big ones and smaller ones. Um, which I think are also very practical. Then in this Ziploc bag I've got two outfits for maybe when we are going home. Um, one is a really nice minty color and one gray. So again we'll have a look which one we are going to use. Then in this bag I've got some socks and um, a few different sizes. And then uh, for my sister-in-law I got a whole set. Um, in Turkey they have like a hospital set with blankets, um, trousers, hats, everything. So this is the complete set. So I guess this will be the outfit that he wears after he is born. Um, and there's a blanket like I said as well. And then I've got one more outfit that is a size... 56 in case if he's a bit bigger then i have one outfit that uh, he can wear so that is everything that i have in my hospital bag like i said it's quite minimalistic i guess um let me know in the comments down below if i'm forgetting something um because i would love to know that if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and i just want to say thank you so much for all of the support and comments and likes um, it means a lot to me and like I said this will probably be my last video before baby boy arrives so yeah thank you so much for your support go follow me over on Instagram I will keep you guys updated on there and um, yeah the next video will probably be the birth vlog I just have to see and look how everything goes but um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye